Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamine. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Vesemir's fine, the picture of health, and he still wears a mustache. I'm relieved to hear it. And, hmm, did he ever find a, a mate? No, haven't seen him with a woman in five decades. Me and the other witchers, we often wondered what his story was. A pity. A pity our story didn't end differently. I might have... I should have ridden out after him. Please don't mention me when next you see him. I've reopened my own wounds. That's enough. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Ran into an old friend of yours, Countess Mignol. Huh? Impossible. Where? Auction house in Oxenford. She's an aficionado, a collector. Witcher gear. Imagine that. Old school of the wolf armor, for instance. Hmm, right. A fine gambeson that was. It had sleeves of chain mail and... Ah. Love letters conveyed by a governess? Trysts in garden nooks? You scampering out a window? <laughs> Last person I imagined dabbling in that sort of thing. Hmm. You might find it hard to believe, but... I was young too once. Well, younger. She still lives in Oxenford. No age to go there? See her? Later, maybe. Once it's over. Once things are calm again. <laughs> 